Welcome to another episode of Explore Eastern. I'm Brandon Green and today we'll be looking at one of the up and coming programs here at Eastern, Mass Communication. With me today is Mass Communication Professor Kristen Turner. Mrs. Turner, can you tell us about some of the subjects and courses offered here at the Mass Communication Program? I like to say that we have a really diverse program. Besides our traditional journalism classes, such as news reporting, news editing, and photography, we offer video production, public relations, and advertising. So we really have a well-rounded curriculum. What types of hands-on experiences can students in the program expect? We really pride ourselves on the hands-on experience that we give our students. From day one, we give them a camera and um, ask them to go take photos for our newspaper or our yearbook. We also produce a weekly news segment for video production called the Mountaineer Minute. And now, with our launching of Mountaineer Radio, we are able to have students interning doing color commentary and sports broadcasting. And so really they're getting an experience that they're not going to get until a junior or senior level at a university. What advice would you give students who are interested in the mass communication program? Keep your options open. Don't just focus on one subject. If you want to be a photographer, don't just focus on photography. You have to get into graphic art. You have to be able to write. Um, you have to be able to use technology in order to go somewhere and, and have a good career. Joining me now is the general manager of Eastern's Mountaineer Radio, Mr. Doug Sims, or Duggo as his radio name is. How can Eastern students become involved with the new radio station? Come talk to me. You know, come say, hey, I'm interested. I want to find out more about radio and maybe participating and being an intern here or a student broadcaster here. And, and I'll show them around. Uh, we'll talk about their interest, uh, what they like to do. If they're more into sports, we'll try to guide them into our sports broadcasting part. If they're really interested in just the music part, uh, or doing an on-air show, we'll guide them in that direction. Or maybe they want to do some behind-the-scenes stuff like uh, voicing some commercials. Uh, we'll direct them into that and train them fully. You don't have any experience here. I love everything about radio, but I really love this part, that we're able to pass our trade on to our students. As you've heard, there are many opportunities for students here in the Mass Communication Program. Joining with me now is Taylor Cox, a good friend and a student here in the program. What has been your favorite experience so far? One of my favorite experience of being in the Mass Comm Department was the students got to go to the Thunder game and see all the behind the scenes of what comes into a Thunder broadcast and seeing all the control rooms, the TV trucks, and it just really broadened my expectations of what the Thunder did. What advice would you give incoming students considering joining the Mass Communication Program here at Eastern? I would say definitely get involved with Photo Club, the yearbook, the Statesman, and take as many classes as you want. Just because you want to go into a certain field of mass communications doesn't mean that you don't want to go into like behind the scenes of a radio or behind the scenes of a, like a newspaper. So just get involved. Joining me now is another student in the mass communication program, Wyatt Stanford. What motivated you to pursue this major? I really like to write and I'm very creative and when I looked into the mass communication program here at Eastern I thought you know I could branch out and do other things like video editing and anything of that nature and even work on the radio and so I was very excited when I saw that. What are some of the events that you've covered while working with the Statesman? I've uh, gone to the Capitol for higher ed day and I got to actually sit on the floor and report in real time and I've also covered some other events that are not necessarily concern Eastern but are you know concurrent like you know, the scandal going on at OU right now and things going on you know in France with the whole Charlie Hebdo thing so I've, I've had a big range of things I've been writing about for the Statesman. Thank you for watching please join us next time on our next episode of Explore Eastern. <laughs>